We are gonna completely transform this space from that orange line right there between the posts. All this grass is coming out, all of it. Every single blade of it is coming out all the way up to the fence, all the way to back here. We've got about a 22 by 15 ecosystem pond with a 6,000 mile falls there. We're gonna do an intake bay over in that side over there. The pond will come up right next to the patio like it does in so many of our videos. We also are going to be doing a sunken feeling fire pit using some decomposed granite back there. So there'll be a path Pathway leading you off this way. This sumac's gonna come out. All this grass is gonna come out and we're gonna completely transform this backyard. There you go. Everybody, good morning. Chris and the rest of the gang from Team Aquascape. We have an incredible new pond that we are working on today, way out west, almost in north central Illinois in the beautiful town of Belvedere, about an hour and 30 minutes from the shop. You can see Jack Attack behind me. He's unloading the GoPro so that we can get you some of that beautiful B-roll and time-lapse footage that you're always craving. We've got Corey, Luis, and then we also have Garrett over here. Let me walk you through the backyard. Here's our access. No, it's not just that 36 inch gate. We are also gonna be taking this panel off here to be able to get our 304 through we are going to completely transform this space from that orange line right there between the posts all this grass is coming out all of it every single blade of it is coming out all the way up to the fence all the way to back here we've got about a 22 by 15 ecosystem pond with a 6,000 mile falls there we're going to do an intake bay over in that side over there the pond will come up right next to the patio like it does in so many of our videos we also are going to be doing a sunken feeling fire pit using some decomposed granite back there so there will be a pathway leading you off this way this sumac's going to come out all this grass is going to come out and we're going to completely transform this backyard there you you go so jack and the boys are going to go ahead and get the sod cut and into the truck and trailer get it out of here and then we're going to build our retaining wall which will be doing a timber wall along that fence giving us a place to displace that dirt through that we generate through excavation get our biofalls set so on and so forth so i'm extremely caffeinated i know jack's in a great mood today oh yeah i can see the energy just bouncing out of his oh. pores so you ready to do this all right i'm going to turn it over to jack these guys are going to get the side going i'm going to go get the timbers and then we out sounds good So we got Corey and Luis over here. We are placing our components. We've got our hole cut out for our biofalls. You can see we've got our timber wall in. We've got a couple of dead men in here. Not too terribly concerned about this moving on us, but we did put a handful in there just to be on the safe side. You can see we are well off. Property line over here looks pretty straight from here. So what we're gonna do next is get our biofalls placed. Go ahead and mark out where the pond's gonna go. You can see we've got all the grass stripped. Then we're gonna move that 304 in here and start digging. It might be hard for you guys out there to tell but there is about a foot grade change from there over to the fence so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically take soil from this point running halfway through this yard going that way i'm going to take this soil flop it back over and try and level things off and see how much of a grade change difference let's go right next to the fence with that plumbing guys so start curving it and then that way we don't have to worry about any trees or anything like that because we're going to plant some stuff over in there so what we're going to do is we're going to flop this soil kind of back over like this to kind of level things off gradually slope it back towards the fence obviously i don't want to affect any kind of drainage or anything like that but there's definitely a swale that runs through here right around in here but i want to eliminate that and what that'll allow me to do is that'll allow me to bring the water level that much higher and approachable to this patio seating area really really cool thing that we're going to do next after we get the biofalls place is we're going to bring that machine in here and before we dig i'm going to rip that entire stinking tiger eye sumac out it's gnarly it's old it's haggard it's tired it's definitely seen its time there's a lot of dieback on it i'm sure it could probably eke out a few more years but we want to eliminate that because we're going to make a pathway that going from this patio the corner leading you around to a sunken fire pit that will have some boulders retaining the berm all that dirt from the berm going this way there will be boulders back in through there that'll really lend itself to a really cool fire pit area back there so we got to get that thing out of here so that'll be really fun to do and then we'll start digging what happened there was a sumac there I don't, it's just gone i don't even know what happened <laughs> 
Hey Chris, it's funny because I haven't seen a picture like this with the pond sprayed out and the filters set and everything first. And that would be like step one is mark out the pond. I think step two is lay out your filters. Step three is dig, but we're actually building a retaining wall first. Why don't you tell your fans why <laughs> as I go find another rock? Okay. So as Brian was saying, we are doing things out of order, unfortunately, and the reason we're doing that is because of access. Behind me, you can see the machine moving out of here, and that is our only way in and only way out, and unfortunately, the pond is running right in the middle of it. So what we need to do is put in all these boulders back here that are going to retain the berm and also kind of build out the backside of that fire pit seating area that I am actually standing in. We need to build out this retaining wall using the boulders first, so that that way we have a place to throw the dirt, and we're also not locking ourselves in and, and cutting off our access to build this wall later because that would just suck. So we're gonna go ahead and build this wall and then as we dig our pond out we're gonna go ahead and throw that dirt back behind here and cover all this stuff back up. Great job guys. So they at least are doing the second step in the process. Brian, myself, and Jack kind of jumped ahead but there's a rhyme and a reason for it. Don't ask me to rhyme because I can't. And here is the remains of that poor old sumac that we put out the pasture. Mwah, mwah. So feeling really, really great about progress. Luis feels good. If he feels good, I feel good. So this is that sunken fire pit area. We've got our retaining wall built. We still have a couple more rocks that are going to extend off to the left to tie into the frame racks for the waterfalls. We got Brian over here in the machine excavating out the top shelf of the pond. One of the confusing things that we talked about earlier in the video was just the elevation change being almost a foot from patio height all the way over to the low point on the other side of the machine. So what we decided to do is drop water level about six inches below patio, which is a little bit lower than we normally like to have it, but we are going to be raising up the backside about another six inches as well. So we're kind of splitting the difference between the two, which is really going to help make that pond feel much more approachable. You can see we're going to come right up to the edge of this patio here with some of our rock work, which will make that very, very awesome and is such a cool design technique to make that water come right up to the sitting and viewing areas. So we're going to go about three feet with this pond, give or take. And, you know, we've got a 35 by 25 liner that will stretch us from here all the way over to the back of our intake bay, which will We'll almost be like a little tongue off the back edge of the pond over there. We're gonna have circulation jets in here. We've got color changing lights, but you can see what Brian's doing is he's starting to fill in the dirt to build out our berm on both sides of the bio falls. And we also took all the dirt and all the spoils that we created from our fire pit area, which we're going to fill with decomposed granite and threw it up there as well. So we're gonna start pushing all that stuff back in there, get that stuff nice and compacted. And then um, we'll probably create a couple berms if we have any excess soil, but I know we're gonna eat up a lot of it on that back Backside, just raising everything up and along this backside over here. got fabric liner we actually doubled up the fabric it was pretty rocky down there wasn't it yeah especially with the patio area it was a little bit of an issue getting those rocks out but we managed <laughs> so we went down basically straight down two feet off of the edge of that patio we're about eight inches off because we don't want to compromise the base material because it was it just kept kind of falling in and falling in so we've got two pieces of fabric then the liner and we're gonna go ahead and just start rocking I think you know we'll probably work on that backside first probably build our waterfalls which is not typical of how we normally rock ponds but we're gonna take advantage of the liner being in in. We were only able to dig about two thirds of it. So we've got this part rolled up. So the machine's gonna come in, sit right here, and we're just gonna start rocking and rolling. And we've got a mixture of granite and moss rock on here. So it should turn out pretty cool once we get that. So we've got about nine inches of water there. And then the other 15, 16 inches of water is down in here. So let's go. Morning guys, we're back for day two in uh, Belvedere. So yesterday we were able to get a lot done actually. As you can see, we pulled out all this sod yesterday and we uh, got all that sod all the way to the back fence over there. We got half the pond excavated and I know we touched on it yesterday, I think a little bit, but we have to actually work our way out of this yard considering that is our only access. We have the biofall set and we work on the waterfalls right now and we are kind of just working our way out of here so we can reach with the excavator inside the pond. Hopefully today we're gonna be able to get this pond done, rocked in, and stay tuned. So as 
you can see, as what Corey was saying earlier, we were able to connect the bio falls and finish up the waterfall and pretty much finish from this part of the pond back. So all this is pretty much done with the exception of a few cobbles that have to go right in that area. But as you can see, the pond's coming along. We still have to excavate a little bit more area for the pond and for the intake bay. But uh, that's what we got done so far for Friday. And Dan, Chris, Luis, and the rest of the crew will be back on Monday to finish this pond as Corey and I get to go to California for a weekend at Bernie's. We are back. It is a beautiful day out here in Belvedere. It's about the nicest day we've had. Not that it hasn't been nice, but this is gorgeous. So we've got a new face over there. We've got Grant on the project coming over, helping us out from the service side of things today. We're down Corey and Jack as they are out in California with Bernie. And then it's just Dan, Luis, and myself. Our goal today is going to be get this pond entirely done and start getting the rest of the landscape ready and prepped for tomorrow when the plants come in and the decomposed granite. So pond will be done. We'll be up and running. We've got our three tanks show you them real quick we got our three tanks filling over there so we got 1500 gallons you can see we've got about four or five tons of rock left to get into the pond we also have our granite over there by the trailer so we're going to work through all this rock and gravel today and just get the pond finished finished get it up and running so that we can run it overnight make sure that there's no water loss or anything like that no weird low edges so we're going to go ahead and just focus our entire energy and efforts on the pond today it's still pretty early in the morning so i feel really good about where we're at but of course that could all change you know barring any unforeseen so fingers crossed we're gonna get rolling and uh, not run into any significant challenges today that's gonna slow us down really the only challenge we have is lack of labor today being down a couple skilled guys like Corey and Jack always hurts us a little bit but we're gonna do our best to push our way and muscle through it so once we get the dirt out of here we're gonna go ahead and lay our fabric down lay that liner back and start placing some of these big key boulders we've got about a 30 inch depth down at the very bottom this shelf that they're carving in there is about 18 inches of water so you can see we go down about another foot or so down below where Luis is at. As you can see, we have plants that have arrived. That is a small, small portion of them. You can also see that we have water filling the pond as we speak. Looks like a bomb went off back here, but we've got the guys working on getting the first of, uh, let's see, about seven trees in back over here. We've got a white pine that we're going to be planting in this berm over into here. Weeping willow back over in that corner because it's very, very wet. Another uh, mission arb here, and then three more mission arbs over in that corner over there. We're going to line this berm up with hydrangeas. We've got some ornamental grasses. I believe it's prairie drop seed. We also have some dutia, some veronica, or maybe even some lavender that's going to go up there. I can't remember Remember, but we're gonna dress this whole berm up back in here. We've got a Louisa crab that'll go back over there. That's an ornamental crab apple. And then I have a north wind maple, which is a Korean maple, which will sit right there on that peninsula and really frame that thing out. So we're gonna kind of work our way from this part of the yard back out this way. I am standing in what is our fire pit area. We have all the red rotten granite in the back of Grant's truck back over there. We're gonna get all the landscape in and then really focus on the patio and everything else. So we got a heck of a lot of work left, but I think we have all the pieces in play. Barring any for scenes like we talked about yesterday, this thing should go off without a hitch. Might be a late day, but we're gonna get it done. You can see we've got the equipment all loaded up, ready to go. The backpack floor is out and all warmed up. We have the trailers hooked up, truck loaded, and man, what a day. Let me bring you back home, shall we? Peace your eyes. Every time I see you, baby, come 
on a brand new beautiful ecosystem pond. There's that intake bay right there. You can see we've got our pump vaults located under a couple of cobbles. Right through there, that's got our four to seven pump and it just turned out spectacular. Water is crystal clear already. It helps that we clean it out very, very well and then use the tanks that we had filled up that you saw earlier in the video. We've got the patio. Here's that fire pit area leading you back out. The walkway leading you back out to the fire pit area. There's that boulder wall. You can see we've got the white pine back in there. Mission Arborvitae. We've got a tiger eye sumac over there and then a handful of plantings. There's some viburnums back over there. Just really, really beautiful landscape. Very simple and elegant. I love how the water comes right up to the patio. You can see we've got our lock line circulation jets. And I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a light right there. Another one right there. And then we also have one over there in the pond as well. And there's two waterfall lights on that beautiful waterfall. Very elegant. You see the berm is totally to scale with the rest of the project. That timber wall definitely helped. It just turned out really gorgeous. I love the mix of moss rock and granite. I love these big peninsula boulders that kind of change the shape. You've got one here, you've got another one over there, and then one right there, and it just kind of twists and turns its way through. This turned out absolutely stunning. Got it all done in four days. Had we had our whole crew, it might have been done in two, but it just turned out gorgeous.